The last video I made for y'all was a BDD update about my weight gain. And I don't know if you can tell from seeing just this much of me, but I've lost around 40 pounds in the last two months. I do have a fit blur, which you can follow. Here's the link down here. Um, I do post like almost daily about what I'm eating and stuff that I'm doing, but it's a lot easier for me to make a video because vlogging is what I do normally. So, so I'm going to tell you about how I lost 40 pounds in two months. Woo. So first I want to put it out there. One, I'm not a nutritionist or a dietitian. Obviously I'm not. You all know that I don't do shit like that. But because of my curious nature, I'm the type of person that researches the shit out of everything. So what I've done to lose weight is what I honestly believe was the best for me. And I feel like I did it in a very healthy and safe and efficient way. And if you disagree, that's on you. Do what you want to do. Just don't bring that shit into my comments because I don't care. Two, I only did lost weight this way because I was obese and I needed to drop weight fast. The way I did it was easy enough so that I didn't lose motivation and it's helped me today to keep motivated to change my lifestyle, change the way that I eat permanently. Three, if you don't have a lot of weight to lose, please do not take anything in this video and apply it to yourself. Honestly, I don't think that this is right for you if you are not truly clinically obese or overweight. So let's do this. The number one thing that I did to lose weight was to stop eating carbs. Now I do of course eat some carbohydrates because vegetables come with trace carbs. The thing that I go by is take the number of carbs and subtract the number of fiber grams and that is your net carb. What I did was I kept my net carbs under 20 grams of carbs a day, but sometimes I'd get around 25 if I was feeling frisky and needed something in my life like chocolate. I didn't eat carbs because that is the fastest way to get rid of bloat and water weight. You can eat a diet that's high in carbs. All that matters in the end is calories, of course, but for me, cutting out carbs was the fastest, most efficient way for me. Because I wasn't eating carbs, my body went into ketosis, meaning that all of the energy that I was burning was coming straight from body fat. Carbs are what give us energy normally, but if you take carbs out of the equation, your body adapts and then it learns how to run off of fat. Now, you may be familiar with the keto diet or just low carb diets in general like Atkins. In those diets, you eat tons of fat to make up for the fact that you're not eating carbs and your body learns how to run off the fat you eat and the fat in your body. Well, this is different from that. What I did was more of a PSMF, which is a protein sparing modified fast, where I actually ate very little fat as well. So all of the body fat, all of the energy that my body was running off of was strictly body fat and no muscle. Now, fat is what makes things taste really good. And carbs, of course, are very carby and delicious. I didn't have that. So, yes, I was bored out of my skull with the stuff that I was eating. But what motivated me to keep going was that I was dropping weight very fast. One component of this diet that you cannot cut out if you want to take the step that I did is the protein. You absolutely must get your protein in or you're gonna lose body weight instead of fat. Body weight includes muscle, waist and water. You don't want to be thin but still be flabby because you don't have any muscle tone. So protein has to be up there in order to keep your muscles intact and for your body to get rid of the fat. Now because I was eating this way, which is was super filling for me, I was getting under a thousand calories a day most of the time. I know you think that you can't get under 1200 calories a day, well blah blah blah. So if you're not put anything regarding starvation mode in my comments, you might as well not do it. Not gonna, like it doesn't phase me. It's not real. It's not real. Science. So I ate very little calories most people would think, but each meal I had was only around like two to 300 calories. 
I would have, I'd make a huge salad with vegetables and I would make two whole servings of meat, which is super filling. And I would still have very little calories in the day. And that's also what helped me lose weight. So I took vitamins and I made sure that my protein was high enough so that my, my calorie deficit didn't make me lose weird muscle and only water weight. I can tell you that I've legitimately lost mostly body fat and that makes me very happy. Now for the days that you don't think that you can hold on anymore, that's where your carb allowance comes into count. I cut myself off at 25 grams of carbs a day. That is a number that will keep you in moderate ketosis the entire time. Some people can stay in fat burning mode up until 50 grams of carbs, some even 100 grams of carbs. I notice that I have to stay low. So what I do is I really, really, really need something. Maybe I'll have very little carbs for the day and I'll take a serving of peanut butter and eat that. And oh my gosh, you when you're only eating protein and vegetables, something simple as peanut butter, I, I swear, I thought that I was eating like it could have been a pie for all I knew. It tasted amazing. I'm not joking, amazing. Another thing that really helped me lose weight that you cannot skimp on is having a kitchen scale. Now, something you have to worry about is serving sizes. You may think that a dollop of this is a serving size, but a dollop can be three serving sizes. Like, think of salad dressing, which I don't normally use salad dressing, but think about salad dressing. In two tablespoons of salad dressing, there's up to 200 calories in that and up to like 15 grams of carbs. Now, if you're just squeezing it on there, you may think that you just gave a modest squeeze, but in actuality, you almost have 500 calories worth of salad dressing on your salad. You have to be very mindful of how much food you're using and putting it to your body, and then after a while, you start to be able to eyeball it. I'm at the point where I can eyeball four ounces of meat, give or take, I'm at the point where I can eyeball a tablespoon. I still can't do teaspoons, can't do cups yet, but tablespoons and three to four ounces of meat, I've got it down. Another thing I did was I used my fitness pal. That's a great way to keep track of everything you've eaten for the day, and it counts your macros for you so you can see how much fat and protein and all that stuff you're getting in. Here are some of the meals that I would eat. All the protein I ate were very low, um, low fat and very lean. So I would get the leanest amount of sirloin, leanest turkey, leanest chicken breast, leanest pork. Everything was very lean. If I chose to eat eggs for my protein, I would use one whole egg and one egg white. The whole egg with all the fat in it would give flavor to the egg white. And the egg white, you know, of course, didn't have as much fat but still had some pro good enough protein. So here's what I, here's come to some, here are some of the things that I ate. If you have any questions, just ask me, or if you're like me and you are curious about things, look it up yourself and make an educated choice for yourself. Don't let anything anyone else tells you be the end all be all. Don't buy into the stuff that we're told by the corporations or by the diet industry, which is making so much money and yet we're still all fat. Think about it, you know? You know, just stay woke and Find out stuff for yourself. I've never felt as good as I do now. I've never felt as healthy as I do now. I know for a fact that I'm in better health now. And even my mental and emotional health, I definitely don't have as much problems with my BDD or my bipolar disorder as I, do, as I did before. I'm here, I've lost 40 pounds, I feel great, and I'm not gonna stop till I'm at my goal. Exuding positivity and looking fabulous. So this is an overview on what I did. Key points, high protein, low fat, low carbs, no working out, measure all your shit, and keep count of calories. Now if you don't feel comfortable eating as low as I did, that's completely fine. As long as you eat less than, as long as you eat less than your maintenance amount of calories, 
you will lose weight. It doesn't matter. You will absolutely lose weight. So that's all for this video. I just wanted to kind of tell you what I was doing with my weight loss. I'm down 40 pounds and I would like to lose 60 more pounds and that will be a total loss of 100 pounds. So I hope you like this video. Leave comments or messages if you didn't understand something, I'll get back into it. I just wanted to make a video to throw out there um, how I lost weight and that I was losing weight because I know some of you are worried about me um, after my last video. Alright, bye.